Hello and good afternoon. Today I am here in Mount Dora to come check out a unique store called Treasure Mart. It is an antique store right here, not too far away from downtown Mount Dora, but I wanted to go inside and see if I could find anything for my room because me and Lindsay did move recently and I got my own room that I want to turn into like a 50s diner. So I want to see what they have here and check out their prices to see, are they reasonable? Look at this mural. This is absolutely incredible. This is on the side of the Treasure Marts. And of course, the shopping complex because there's like an Italian restaurant and a couple other different stores here. But this was done by Patty Mills. I actually just talked to the person that kind of like manages this whole area. And he said he discovered this mural by the donkey's butt. He literally saw that corner right there and was like, wait, there's something behind here. Started scraping it off and then he actually discovered this beautiful artwork. This is not the only one. There is another one on the right hand side, but here is the artist's name right there. Patty Mills. He said she's about 80 years old now and she's tickled pink that everybody loves her mural. Here's the other mural. Look at the town. That is incredible. He did tell me that she laid like two by fours on the floor with the tiles and then started putting it up piece by piece. This would take a long time to paint and put together, but this is incredible. All that detail. So far, I see a couple Star Wars figurines that you can get while you're here. And even G.I. Joe figurines. There is a few movies underneath that, like Ugly Betty for $4.99, not too bad. And even Sex in the City for $2.99, not too terrible. Then there's a whole bunch of books. Wow, even Harry Potter. Now I did see this, Marilyn Monroe. What an iconic photo for $49. Not too bad so far. And this is just right when I walked in the store. For anyone that likes to collect coins, wow, they've got a whole bunch. I know nothing about coins, but there's a whole bunch in here. A $14 coin, $13, and there's plenty to look at. So far, not finding anything for my room quite yet. Lots of different things to look at, especially if you do want to decorate your house with a lot more antique furniture. I found a booth with a whole bunch of different keychains with horror. Look, there's The Shining, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Beetlejuice, one of my favorite movies, and it keeps going on. Right next to the keychains, they have wooden tarot cards. That way you can have them as display. The Devil. The Moon, The Magician, Strength. There's a lot to choose from for $2. That's not a bad deal. Oh, I see a keychain that makes me think of Washington immediately. Look, there's Big, The Foot, right next to a whole bunch more horror movie keychains. And I found the perfect coaster for Max and Roxy for $4. That's really cool. The person that rents out this booth absolutely loves horror movies. Don't we all though? So much here to look at. Halloween, Freddy Krueger, and killer clowns from outer space. This place has a little bit of everything. I stumbled upon this, this Elvis doll for $36. I'm definitely gonna have to bring Lindsay back here. It has a whole bunch of different beach themed kind of like what we love to decorate our house into. This booth has so much to look at, even gators. This booth reminds me of where you'd get your palm read. They have a funny saw here. Tramp stamp removal. That would definitely hurt getting sawed off. A whole bunch of different license plates that you can look at or purchase. New Smyrna Beach for $12. Then they do have South Carolina for $8 and it keeps going way back there. Texas, $8, even Florida. And this is an awesome sign. Oh my gosh, swimsuits optional beyond this point, $20. I don't think I've actually seen X-Men figurines in a long, long time. $16.99, some are $9.99. 
just depending on which one that you might be looking for. Looks like they have almost all of them. Wow. Even a local brewery here, Crooked It Can Brewing Company. It's not that far away in Winter Garden. This is $20. Can't forget about Snoopy. And of course, Bugs Bunny that's down here. Snoopy is $30 and Bugs Bunny is $20. Looks like you can put your, your remote in there right next to your TV. Oh my gosh, and I didn't think I was going to find anything Disney here. Well, that was misleading. Look, there's an All Stars music phone room right there. This is for room 3525. Then look, these are the trays that they used to have at Spirit of Aloha. $100 for that? Um, I definitely would not be spending $100 on that. For anybody that's looking for baseball, basketball cards, they've got plenty to choose from here. A dollar a piece, and of course it ranges from there. Look at how many there is to choose from. And then look, baseball. Wow, a dollar, two dollars. There's some that even go for four dollars back there. And of course an antique store would not be complete without Hot Wheels. There's a lot of people out there that collect these Hot Wheels. I turned around and saw this immediately. Look at, there's Miss Piggy riding a motorcycle and Ronald McDonald. Those are some cool glasses. I remember growing up and reading some of these Dr. Seuss books and then anybody that loves antiquing, there is a really, really perfect shirt for you right over here. I love old crap. That's awesome. $12. Here with all the garden items, they do have vintage sprayers. I don't think I've actually seen this in real life. I've always seen it on TV or pictures. $24.99 for one of them and then $9.99 for the other one. Not too bad. And then of course, Star Wars in the same little booth, Yoda. So far, I'm not seeing too much that would fit my room. Really cool items, $45 for this little dachshund statue. Nothing that I would personally get, not yet. I'm only halfway through the store. There's even these scents. Whole bunch of different ones, peppermint, musk, and those are for $5 each for the half ounce or three for 13. At my parents' house in Washington, they do have these glasses. This is going for $6.50 for the Mickey, and then the one that has Flick on it and the Parks is going for $8. So far, not too bad. I was walking by a booth over here with these little miniature figurines or dollhouses. Look at that, that was really impressive. Lots of time that was spent in there, but that's not what caught my eye. There was something over here that really got my eye. Final rights for Kennedy, JFK assassin, and slain at police headquarters. That's really cool. Newsday, 1963. And of course, anybody that's a fan of Nike, they've got a whole bunch of shoes here. Nike Air Force One, $150. And then there's the Nike Jordan Sun, $150. Wow. It's locked up, so you do have to go and ask for a key or assistance. There's a lot to choose from or look at. Right next to where they have the Nike shoes, there is a lot of different Disney memorabilia. There is a band statue right here going for $45. Then you have Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. But there's one thing that really threw me off. That Mickey Mouse picture in the back. It's going for $2. When you can go to Disney hotels and ask them if they have any of these and they give it to you for completely free. Then there's some watches back there going for 20, and even name tags. Look, there's one that actually says Walter from Mount Dora, Florida, going for about $6, but I turned around and I saw something that was very, very interesting. There is a tanning bed here going for $200. Um, that's very interesting. Anyone that's looking for that farm feel in your house, this place definitely has a lot, a lot to look at. Some of it's not bad price, $10, $18 for some of the stands. There's a lot there. And even these, they go for $285. Seeing lots of classic photos of Marilyn Monroe for $24, John Wayne, but not what I'm exactly looking for. And I'm almost done walking around the store. Got maybe one more aisle to go down. Sadly, nothing that I was actually interested in, especially for like the 50s and 60s type of diner. It's not the end of my hunt though, because I will be going to other 
flea markets, vintage stores, just to see what I can find. But I hope you liked coming along with me and checking out what they had to offer here. Because there was a lot to look at. Cameras, even a Margaritaville maker for a hundred dollars. But if you did like this type of adventure, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification button so you're notified every time I come out with a future video. Thank you so much for coming along with me, but I'll see you down the road.